Hey guys, Target with Cyclone FPV, and we are back now, and we are now on part two of our Radio Master TX16S setup. Kind of went through a pretty extensive long video. I didn't break it up like I did the Free Sky radios because this is pretty much a one time shot here for me with this to try to go over a few things. So let me go, where we're, let's get back to where we're at. This is exactly where we left off. We have already done our firmware. If you haven't seen the first video, you need to go back, or else this isn't going to make any sense to you. So please go watch the first one, especially when it comes to setting up the SD card structure, downloading the firmware, downloading the firmware for the Free Sky uh, tools and everything else, okay? All right, so I said now what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up a model, right? So here's what we're gonna to do to do that. We're gonna hold down our, our roller here, just hold that down, and we're gonna to go to model select. So click that. We have one model in this setup. Perfect, that's all I wanted, okay? So here's our model right here, and what we're gonna do now is we're gonna hit, um, we're gonna hit our return key right here, all right? And you see this model button right here? I want you to hold it down. There's our setup screen, okay? A little different than what FreeSky would have done on their radios, but we're still at the same spot, right? So we're going to name this model uh, Free Sky Long Range. So just Free Sky LR. Okay. So to re to name it, we're just going to highlight it, click on the wheel, and we're just going to scroll like we would normally do. So just go to F, hit Enter, and then go to R, hit Enter, and then make the D the S there, and hold it down to make it caps, and then the E F R S K. Whoops, K. Okay, uh, so you need Free Sky. Okay. And then you scroll all the way for a space. And then we're just going to call this, um, uh, let's see, we could call it R9 Slim, I guess. Let's do that. Or you call it whatever you want. Um, we'll, we'll, call, we'll call it Long Range. Let's just do that. So we're just going to do L capital, and then we're going to do R capital. Okay? Okay, and that's going to stand for Free Sky Long Range. When we're done with that, we're going to hit the return key. And now what I want you to do is I want you to scroll to the left. Okay? I just go to the left and I want you to go to where it says internal and external. And I want you to make sure internal says off and external, I want you to click enter. And then I want you to scroll. And I want you to scroll till you see R9M, okay? Once you see R9M, I want you to click enter. I want you to make sure it says FCC. I don't want you to change that, okay? And for your receiver, because this is model one and we always make our receiver uh, number match our model number. So this is model one, so we're gonna click enter. We're gonna roll this to receiver one. I'm going to click enter, okay? Now, there's nothing more we can do at this point. I want you to hit return, return, get to your home screen, turn the power off, okay? Now, I don't care which module you use. Pick whichever one you want. If you bought an access module, a 2019 access version, or you have the standard 2019 R9M, so R9M or R9M 2019 access. I don't care which one, okay? But for the sake of just showing this guy uh, that he was wrong, I'm going to take the access version, okay? And I'm going to plug that in here. There we go. Boom. Now, we're going to turn the radio back on. Welcome to Racing TX. Okay. Okay. Now, I guess, my gosh, I'm going to skip the calibration because we're going to go to that in a little bit. Okay. So, what I want to do now is I want to flash the R9M 2019 access module, which is on the back of my radio, with the firmware to make it run ACCST. Right? Because it's not going to run access on here as it is. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. Hold our system button down, click page to the right, enter on firmware, scroll down to FreeSky TX firmware, hit enter, find the uh, uh, firmware R9M ACC ST20190117, hit enter, and then you can decide to use FCC or Flex. Now, Flex allows you to pick your power uh, band on this one, so I'm going to go with Flex now. Usually, I would say just go with FCC, but for God's sake, we're just going to go with Flex just to have some fun, okay? So let's go with Flex. We're not going to go with LBT because we're not in Europe. So hit Flex and enter. And then we're going to use the flex firmware. Okay, ready? So hold it down, and it's going to say flash external module. And you're going to click yes. And then watch. You're going to see this light start blinking green and red. Okay? Awesome. Now, while that's blinking green and red, I'm going to go ahead and get my R9 Slim OTA right here. Now, you'll notice here... Uh, we can do the firmware update on this receiver by using the radio, okay? And I'm going to show you how to do that. The only problem is it's kind of squirrely because the radio pinout is not in the same order as it would be normally. So what I normally use is I'll either use my FreeSky radio or I'll use this awesome little USB to um, uh, 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 my USB firmware update tool, okay, from FreeSky, all right? Now, I'm going to use this one. Because if I take the module out on the back, there's the pin structure, right? So if you look at a standard pin, look at this pin out, okay? The standard is going to be black, red, yellow. So that's ground, 5 volt, and S port. 
On the back of the radio, if you take the module out, the pin structure for the bottom three is positive ground S4. So the ground and the positive are reversed. So if I plug this in like that, it's gonna not happen the way I want it to. And I really don't like messing with it like that. Um, if you don't have a choice, actually, you know what, I guess I'll show you how to do it. Uh, and then if you ever wanna use one of these, these are awesome. As a matter of fact, um, I'll, I'll show you both ways. I don't care. But um, the way I'm gonna show you from the radio is gonna require me to just resolder two of these wires so that they're switched, okay? All right, so if you notice right now, we're done with our R9M flash. R9M flash. So we're going to hit enter and then we're going to hit return, return, we're at our home screen. Go ahead and turn the power off. Okay, now you can take out the module if you like. All right. Now, again, let me make it very clear that the positive and the ground on the back of the radio are in reverse order. Okay, so what we have to do is we have to switch the positive and the ground here because. It won't work this way, all right? Positive is actually gonna be the first one. So I guess if you were to really be nitpicky about it, um, I guess if I didn't wanna change it, if I didn't wanna desolder it, it would look like this. Let me just show you. Uh, if I wanted to just pull the tabs and swap this, this is what it should look like if you're gonna plug it in the back of your radio. Basically take the red and the black. So let's pull the black out. There we go, and let's pull the red out. There we go. Come on. All right, and we're gonna put the red where the black was. I'm gonna put the black where the red is. There, now, if you wanna do it that way, good for you. You can now save that cable, because if you intend to do all your FreeSky updates this way, this is what you need, okay? You're gonna turn the radio over, okay? And you're gonna see these pins right here. I'm gonna to try to get that in the light. There you go, to be able to see them. And it's gonna be from the top down, one, two, there's five pins, except we're gonna go from the bottom up. So from the bottom up, we're gonna take the bottom three pins, and it's gonna go yellow, black, red, okay? In that order, I'm gonna flip it over. And because of the way I've done this, I just have to make sure that these don't touch, okay? So let me put a, I'm gonna just slide like a, um, a uh, heat shrink, an, an unused heat shrink over the positive so it doesn't touch any of the other wires, just like that, okay? I'm just gonna let it sit, okay? Now, you can see the light here. You will be able to see the light on my receiver when it's updating. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get my toolkit or something here. I'm gonna turn this on. Okay. See my light on? I'm gonna get out of calibration. We'll do that in a second. So here's what I'm gonna do now. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna hold my system button down. I'm gonna go page to the right one time. I'm gonna click on firmware. I'm gonna go to the FreeSky RX folder. And there's my R9 Slim OTA ACCST. I'm gonna click it. And then I, we did flex on the R9M, so we're gonna do flex. And we can use, <coughs> we can use F port if we want, or we can just leave it like it is. I really don't care. At this point, I think I'll just use flex and deal with the F port part later, okay? So we're gonna use flex here. Here we go. Uh, you know what, maybe I'll use this for a video where I do use flex. So, no, let's just, we'll go with flex. Uh, I'm sorry, with F port. That way I can do a video on how to use F port, okay? So we're gonna go to F port, but you can use flex or whatever. Here we go, we're gonna hit enter. And then it's gonna say flash external module, and we're gonna say, okay, fine. Now, watch our receiver. You see it blinking? The lights are blinking and it says writing and it's perfect, all right? So as long as you remember that you have, that the order of the pins, you're gonna start, if you start from the bottom and go up, it's S port, ground, positive. That's opposite of what we would do if we were to plug it in to let's say uh, our X90 plus, which is right here. And on the back here, it would be, uh, the order is going to be ground, positive, S port. So on most FreeSky radios, the positive is in the middle, okay? Between the ground and the S port. In this particular example on the back, and I believe on the radio of the X90 Plus on the back also, it's the same as it is on this one. That's why I just never use the back, okay? But uh, just so you know, that's how the pin structure would go. From the bottom up, there's five pins. The top two pins you're not gonna worry about. S port, um, ground, and then your power, okay? It's still riding, it's almost done and then we're gonna to get to it, okay? So hang that one second. And then I'm gonna explain why we did this video, and I'm gonna show you exactly why, and then we're gonna call it a day, and we can now say we successfully did the Radio Master and showed you guys how to set it up. And then we'll come back and do TBS and blah, 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 okay? And I'll give you probably my little soapbox, but I'll give you a warning so that at least you can end the video before you hear my soapbox. Okay, so we're almost done. 
Awesome. Okay, guys, so it says flash is successful. I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to return, return. I'm going to hold the power button down. I'm going to cut power at this point. Okay? Perfect. Now, we're going to take this cable out. Okay? I'm going to put my R9M Access Edition, R9M 2019, back in that has been flashed with ACCST Edition. Power it back up. Welcome to OpenTX. Okay. Still not going to calibrate. So I'm going to cancel. All right. Here's our receiver, right? Now, I said that um, we have to pull those pins to move these. I'm going to put them back now uh, because um, it will fry it if I plug this back into my usual device. So let me just pull that up. Let me pull this up real quick. Let me pull these out. Put them back the way they should be going. I don't intend to be using Radio Master to do any of my firmware flashes, so this was just swapped one time for you guys to see. But if you want the data cable to be for Radio Master, just let me know. And I'll modify it for you before I ship it. So just order the free Sky Data Cable we have on our website, and I'll show you where that is here. Let me show you real quickly. So if you if you um, if you go to our website real quick, right? So let me open the internet. And uh, if you go to our website, let me see if I can find this because I'm not good at this part. And you go down to receivers, and you go down to free Sky. I think it's going to be in here. Um, let me see. Oh, by the way, this is what I'm using to do my updates. This is really awesome. Okay. Um, so where is my, oh, you know what? I'll just type it in here. So let's just type firmware cable, hit enter. So this is the cable you can buy, okay? And then if you say, hey, I want this cable, but I want it to be for Radio Master, just let me know and I'll swap those wires for you if you want, okay? Just put it in the notes, all right? And I may just make a Radio Master link here anyway. All right, so let's get back to our radio. Okay, so here we are. Uh, let me zoom out a little bit, all right. Okay, so now we've got our R9M module back in. It's been flashed to ACCST. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my trusty old toolkit RC, which I love, and I tell you guys is a mandatory tool in my shop. And I am going to plug this in there. Okay. And I am going to, I'm basically using that to power it up so I can bind it. Okay. So I'm going to hold my bind button on my R9 Slim. And while I'm holding it, I'm going to flip the power button on. Okay, and what I have here is a solid red and green. Now I'm gonna hold my model button down on my radio. There's my free sky long range that we created. I'm gonna scroll to the left, and I have it set receiver one, and I'm gonna click on bind, I'm gonna click it. And then I'm gonna go with channels uh, 16, 1916 with telemetry on, hit enter. That's gonna chirp. That's gonna blink like it is now. Okay, I don't know if you can see it blinking, but it is rapidly blinking. Once that's blinking, I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna hit return. Stop that from happening, hit return again, hit return again. Now here's what's gonna happen. You're gonna see a telemetry lost sound coming in just a little bit because we have not telemetry turned. Lost. Perfect, that's because we didn't turn our receiver off yet to reset. So we turn it off, power goes out, power comes back on. We have telemetry, there's our RSSI, and we are in business, okay? Now, this means, all right, we, we're set, we're done, we're done. So now let's just get to, uh, let's get to what was going on. All right, so I usually never edit a video, but I actually stopped that video right there because the video part is done. The rest of it, I went on like a 30 minute rampage about this ass hat and a couple other people that made this video have to happen, right? People that told me that the Free Sky stuff couldn't work, right? It doesn't work. The access thing cannot be downgraded to work with the radio. Well, you're wrong and this video shows you're wrong. And God, if people would just humble themselves and realize that sometimes they don't know everything, um, great, that would be a better world. But it's not, so that's why I made this video. For everybody else, listen, I'm going to tell you like this, and I say it every time I sign up. Um, go spend time with your family. You never know how much time you have left, guys, so please go make the most of it. I am waiting to see my kids. My son has turned 15, and I have yet to see him because, thanks to our legal system, oh, dads have this much importance, and we hope to hopefully change that one day. But until then, um, I can at least encourage you guys, it does mean the world. And for anybody who thinks uh, dad's role is minuscule um, and we're only good for money, that's not true. We actually love our kids too. Talk to you guys later. God bless. Be safe and we'll see you soon. Peace.